Should we go in? I think we should. Hey, Wonder Hussy here in a place that I think I've been before, but it was a long time ago and I was with somebody else who was driving. So I wasn't really paying attention, <laughs> but it's called Ibex Spring. And I guess it's technically within the boundaries of Death Valley National Park, which I didn't realize because it's also right outside one of my favorite places, Tacopa, California, home of the hot springs. Anyways, I'm out here with a new friend and we're uh, just kind of poking around to see what there is to Ibex Springs. It looks like there was some kind of old settlement here and not just one house. There's a bunch of stuff. Okay, this whole barren, desolate valley that we're in is scattered with a whole bunch of different shacks and foundations and old houses. So we'll poke around all of them and see if there's anything interesting. But up here by this house, I don't know if this is like the main area or what, but there's this little sign that is really sun bleached, but basically it says, in an effort to preserve the historical site of Ibex Springs, the Mojave River Valley Museum in Barstow has been given permission to adopt this site. Well, do not disturb the site. Okay, we're not gonna take anything. We're just gonna look around. I don't know anything about the history of this place, Ibex Spring. I know there's an old talc mine up in the hills back there behind it which we're gonna go check out after we're done here. So I'm guessing that this must have been related to the mine somehow. This was somebody's house and they had pretty nice solid wood floors. <laughs> Water heater. <laughs> Kitchen. Gosh, this is so busted. There's not really gonna be much left to look at, but it's a quick overview. <laughs> ceiling is totally blistered. Oh, but look, like air ducts. It had central heating, central air. Wow, fancy. I mean, you can see here where it was wired for electric. So it can't be that old. Interesting. Now out the back here, you can see there's a bunch more old houses up there. I think that's where the actual spring is. So we're definitely going to go check that out. Some really cool old colorful glass here too. Look at that how thick that is. That was a serious bottle. Some here too. And not just glass. Look at this old porcelain. And then look at this. <laughs> Some poor old miner's boot heel. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was the miner's wife. <laughs> the prospector's wife. That sounds like a Louis L'Amour novel. The prospector's wife. She lived alone in a cabin in the middle of nowhere until one day a stranger came along. <laughs> There's another little cabin. This was a little one room job or maybe two rooms. Looks like it was framed out to two rooms. How cute. Oh wow, but what was it? Showers? Was this the bathhouse? I mean, well, whoever got stall number two in the middle here had a nice view. Interesting. Oh yeah, it does look like it was showers. Look at that. Well, I guess the showers kind of do make sense because there's also this building here that I thought was an outhouse at first, like a side-by-side -side outhouse. But if you look inside it, it wasn't really an outhouse. It was actually a plumbed toilet. And you can see the bits and pieces of it are left from where somebody blew it up for some inexplicable reason. And on this side too. So oh, my friend and I were just talking about, or wondering like, where was it plumbed to? It's not like there's a sewer line way out here. I mean, just to stop for a minute to show you, we are in a very, very desolate valley. I mean, sewer line? I really can't imagine. But you can see here, it comes out the back of that outhouse and goes down into the ground. And gosh, I hate to say it, but I think they maybe just dumped it right into this wash and let it Go down uh, when it rained? I do not know. Okay, here's another little 
tiny cabin. Another one room deal. They have these nice poured concrete foundations. So look at that. That's in really good condition too. And then this one, maybe those weren't showers. I mean, I'm only 5'3", and my head is over the top of this shower stall. So imagine if I was like a full-sized man. Well, people were shorter back then, I guess. Or, I don't know, maybe this was the home of the midget prospectors. The midget miners. Okay, and then sort of down the hill here towards the wash, there's a bunch of old ruins and these look like they were built partially at least with stone so that's pretty impressive i mean unfortunately the wood part is totally collapsed in but the stone wall back there is still holding up i mean look at this oh look at that window wow look how thick these friggin walls were i mean boy that's not gonna blow over anytime soon you can see i mean Still standing here after all these years and it's very straight and true. That's craftsmanship. Here's another blasted up little stove. Oh, look how cute though. It was a Dixie. Oh, <laughs> cool, a little, you know, just a little skinny stove. Oh wow, look at this tiny little cabin it's next to. How cute, this reminds me of one of those tiny houses that people <laughs> tow behind their cars now. Oh, wow, far out, look inside. An old miner's pair of blue jeans. What, yikers. Oh my God, they're so dirty. Old button, old zipper. I wonder if these are Levi's. You can get a lot of money for vintage Levi's. I mean, these are totally busted and I wouldn't steal them anyways, but I have read online where people collect or they go out and scavenge old jeans from old mines and they get like tens of thousands of dollars for them. Okay, my friend that I'm exploring with just pointed out that there's a bunch of petrified wood here too. Look at that. That's petrified wood. I would never have known. But yeah, look at that. You see, God, there's just a little bit of everything at this site. Okay, now we hiked up the wash to where there's a few more uh, remains of buildings and there's a lot of vegetation here and palm trees. So I'm guessing there is definitely still a spring here. Ibex spring still flowing after all these years. I mean, this place here looks like it was pretty grand. Let's walk up the front walkway here. At one time, think about it, this was probably a really nice little pathway. You know, if, if some lady lived here, she probably had little plants growing, a little cactus garden. But wow, yeah, this was a big house. All right, well, the door is long gone. Looks like that used to be the front stoop. We'll just walk right in where the door used to be. Oh, wow. It's a trip to look at how nice the wood floor still is. So this was obviously some kind of central room. And then there were two like bedrooms off on that side. And two bedrooms off on that side. Maybe it's just some kind of like boarding house. And then they had a outhouse to use the bathroom somewhere. Pretty nice place. But wait a minute. Look at this. I just happened to notice out this one window. <laughs> Some kind of creepy tunnel going into the earth. We better go investigate that. Well, looks like we could just climb right out this window. It's not very high. Hop right over. Whoa, what was this? Oh, it looks like maybe it was some kind of root cellar. Wow, interesting. It doesn't go back very far, and it's not like super deep or anything, but I would have kept things cool. I mean, you can feel it's noticeably cooler in here than it is outside, so. Interesting, and then it's covered over on the roof with dirt and plants and stuff. Huh, and what, speaking of dirt and plants, the ground here is very, mm, crumbly and soft and almost marshy. So I think in this thicket here, where the palm trees are, that's where the spring is. I didn't bring my machete, but I'm gonna do my darndest to get in there and find it. Here. Oh, look here, standing water. Wow. I mean, there's a pipe here that looks like maybe water comes out sometimes. It's not right now. And this water is pretty funky, but boy, howdy, if you were lost in the desert and needed water, you'd be glad to see it. Okay, okay, wait. My friend that's with me is a lot better <laughs> detective than me because look what she found. <laughs> the sunken old shack. 
that is filled with water oh god this is gonna be really hard to shoot because the light is so messed up right now but gosh i'm not sure if you can see this goes back pretty far and it's full of water the whole way you see that all the way to the back okay we drove all the way up this road and came to the mine site look at this i think this was an old talc mine and look it's creepy at it uh, let's just go in a little bit. We don't have to go very far because I'm not wearing a hard hat and I don't have my mask or anything. So, oh, wow. Look though. Holy wowzer. Oh, wow. Look, there's still uh, rails from where the carts came. Oh, and I can actually stand up straight. Barely. It's pretty low clearance. Eh, I got about yay clearance. <laughs> not much. Holy wow. Look. It goes on and on back into the side of this mountain. Oh my gosh. I really don't want to have to go all the way back and get my flashlight, but I really want to know what's in here. Decisions. Oh yeah, check it out. My camera has a light built in. That's cool. Look how creepy this is. I'm going to guess not many people have been in here because first of all, it was kind of hard to get out here. And secondly, there's a lot of stuff left over. Look at that. Never sweat. <laughs> That's my motto. Just go in a little farther and then we'll turn around. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think this mine might be even better than the War Eagle. The War Eagle is that giant mine I explored. Oh, look at this. Some really old box of paints. Boysen. Pure paints from Walter in Boysen Co. in Oakland and LA. Wow. Okay, you guys, I keep saying this, but I gotta turn around. Oh, look at this, keep out. Keep out. All right, well, I'm gonna obey the sign. You know me. Have gun, will travel. Hmm. All right, guys. Yikers, let's get out of here. There's all kind of weird satanic graffiti on the walls here. Oh, man. I don't know. I think it's gonna be real nice to see the daylight. Look, Lil's Beauty Salon, three blocks. Oh, my gosh. Wow, this old talc mine was way cooler than I thought it was going to be. Oh, no, look, a ladder. <gasps> oh, no. I can't go up there. Oh, man, I really want to, but it's not safe. I don't want my friend to worry. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do the responsible thing and go out. I know half of you are probably going, oh, thank goodness. And the other half of you are going, no, dang it, keep going, you wuss. Can't please everyone. Whew, that was gnarly. I did not have my hard hat with me. I didn't expect to go exploring any mine at it today. I thought we were just looking at some old abandoned buildings, but gosh, I guess I should always roll around with a hard hat because you never know. Okay, you guys, I think we should walk along this really sketchy old portion of rail so that we can look down that chute. What do you say? It looks pretty safe. I mean, built up on all these talc tailings. I don't think we're going to fall. Ugh. Nice and solid, easy does her, steady as she goes. Wow, but what a view. This is gonna be worth it all when we get to the end. We're gonna be standing on that deck, looking down that chute and out at the whole freaking valley. So we'll be able to see everything we just explored. Holy wow, what? This has gotta be like a billion dollar view here. Look at this. Okay, well the railroad looks like it used to go this way. And then, gosh, I don't know where it went from there. Just kind of tailings drop off, but look at this view. Holy wow wee. Wow, what a awesome site to explore. I mean, I really just came for the spring and stayed for the mine. This is like an awesome one-two punch out here at Ibex Spring. There's a little something for everyone. Petrified wood, an old abandoned mine, and that abandoned ghost town. This definitely warrants five thumbs up from Wonder Hussy. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. And if you like stuff like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you really like me, you can even become a patron on my Patreon and help me put gas in my tank so I can get to more places like this to share them with all of you.